How about six years old? Phyllis wow. Webstad tells her own residential school story in a way children can understand. I was six years old and that's the age when we were taken from our families. In part because she was so young when it all happened. I remain humbled and honoured that Canadians are learning the true history of Canada and before reconciliation can come about, we need to be able to tell our truth. And her truth resonated with these Ottawa students. We were really grateful for her to come. So good to see someone that actually went through this. How they were treated unfairly compared to now, like it wasn't that long ago actually. So if you were taken from way over here and you had to fly down, this day of learning comes in two forms. Webstat has partnered with the Royal Canadian Geographical Society to give students a hands-on experience through this giant map. And it shows um, part of the story of the Indigenous people in Canada. We have languages, we have reserves, we have residential schools, we have treaties, unceded territories, basically everything, all the data sets that we could get our hands on. It's so cool to learn the different languages and different tribes that lived in Canada because there were so many. Grace Martin says what she learned today will stay with her for a long time in part through something as simple as wearing orange. Every child matters and that um, even one person can like, make a difference like Phyllis just by wearing her shirt. She made this big difference and now we're all wearing orange. I think I'm showing, you know, all of Canada, maybe even all of the world that this happened and it shouldn't happen again. By you wearing orange and learning about what happened to us, it's like a little bit of justice in our lifetime. This tour continues until March with stops at schools across the country. Webstad is also working on another book for older students that details more of her family's experiences. She hopes that one day her son will tour with her as well. He's also a residential school survivor. Abigail Beeman, Global News, Ottawa.